green is needed piece of crust piece of sauce mozzarella cheese pepperoni spices are totally optional let's get started so we got the piece of crust from the dollar tree the piece of pan from the dollar tree the piece of sauce we got it at walmart for about two dollars and some change uh, but the dollar tree does sell this piece of sauce the only thing that my store was out of it so we just we just add a little bit of a um, piece of sauce eating throughout the crust we don't like too much sauce my kids also doesn't like too much sauce on their pizza I really like this pizza because it's thin crust I prefer thin crust than regular crust it tastes really good I mean now that we're in our house and who knows to when we're gonna get out because of the coronavirus going on um, we decided to make pizza we were hungry we didn't have any leftover dinner from yesterday so we made burgers so okay now let's add some cheese we got a two pound bag of cheese from Walmart for about seven dollars and some change Dollar Tree does sell mozzarella cheese but uh, didn't have it which I really didn't mind because I prefer <clears throat> um, mozzarella cheese from Walmart the Dollar Tree cheese I don't like it uh, as much I don't know there was one that I bought and it takes it doesn't taste like it's made with milk I just didn't like to flavor it so you don't have to buy a big a two pound uh, bag you could buy the eight ounce bag probably for like a two dollars at Walmart okay so got a little bit more cheese in there and now if you need to distribute the cheese around the pizza make sure one side doesn't have more than another there we go now let's add the pepperoni the pepperoni I did get it from the Dollar Tree it comes uh, with two little pouches inside and we made three pizzas with just one pouch uh, of the pepperoni from Dollar Tree you can't find it from Dollar Tree Walmart does sell it but they sell it for two dollars so if you find it from Dollar Tree even better because you get twice as much that you can. My husband is taking the excessive oil off of the pepperoni because they're really oily and we don't want all that oil on our pizza. So we put about 10 um, slices of pepperoni on each of our pizza. So I guess I'll be 30 slices for one pack. That's not bad for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. And you see my son walking back and forth in the background over there. So there you go. He's cleaning off the oil, the pizza, and we have like about 10 there. Okay, now I think it's ready to go in the oven. There we go. In the oven it goes. A few minutes later, voila. Look how delicious that looks. I like to season in my pizza, so I'll put a little bit of garlic powdered garlic you could find a, a smaller one in uh, Walmart for about a dollar or so but if you don't want it you could, they also sell like little pack little um, pouches about probably like 49 cents the basil leaf get that from the from Walmart for one dollar it's not that bad also Aldi sells, sells them for a dollar parmesan cheese we get that from the dollar tree it tastes really good i really like it it actually tastes like real parmesan cheese it smells good tastes good and a little bit of chili flakes which i bought for a dollar at walmart just a little bit this is for my kids and there you go slice it up in four big slices which is 
perfect for four little kids or two big kids. Well, I hope you enjoy my video and hopefully soon I could bring clearance video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.